YouTube, this is Dan with Chasing the Wind, and this is going to be a flight of the MGX X800. And right now it's sort of twilight, so I'm going to fly it for a few minutes in twilight, and then I'll come back when it's pitch black, and we'll take a look and see how this white uh, version looks. Medium rate. You can see it's got pretty blue lights on the front four legs, orange lights on the back uh, too. And I'll keep it up above the, uh, try to keep it up above the tree line so that you can see it better. I just did a flight with the uh, 808 keychain camera on it. And uh, it flies really nice with that keychain camera. It actually gives it more stability, I think. I always wonder what these people in the cars think when I go shooting across the street with either my quad or hexacopters. They probably have no idea what it is. I know I say it in every video, if this uh, hexacopter had deeper pitch, it would be perfect. It's got a lot of power. Very stable flyer, does not wobble in the wind whatsoever like the uh, X8, uh, X600, the bigger brother, has a wobble to it. This is a really smooth flyer. And I can already tell that it's got the same issue as X600, uh, that you get it out uh, very far away from you. The lights will wink out and uh, you may lose orientation or actually a visual of your hexacopter and you may lose your hexacopter. But when you got it fairly close like this, you can see it pretty good. Let's bring it down. Let's bring it over and see if if it's uh, more translucent on the top. Well, a little bit, but uh, you know those lights don't really shine through the body like I thought they would. So I think this is more of a twilight flyer than a uh, pitch dark flyer because I can still still see it even when I can't see the lights in the air. It's the y'all read on it. All right, so I'm gonna bring it in and uh, in a few minutes when it gets uh, pitch black or as pitch black as I can get here, then we'll do another flight. Okay, we're back. It's uh, fairly dark out here now. And uh, let's see how it looks uh, flying in darker conditions. Gonna hand toss, medium reach. There we go. Real bright uh, blue orange lights when it's right above you. Um, There it goes overhead. You really got to pay attention to this <clears throat> when you're flying at night because the uh, lights just pretty much wink out on you and uh, I've got it fairly close. So you can hardly see them right there. So this, uh, even the white with the translucent body is not gonna be a good night flyer at distance. You're gonna have to keep this fairly overhead <clears throat> so that you can see the lights on it. They're super bright when you got them overhead like that. Let me bring it in a little closer. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. We got it right overhead. So if you're keeping it fairly close, no problem. 
and when I mean fairly close, I'm talking about <clears throat> within about 50, 60 feet of you. Not necessarily 50 or 60 feet high, but in distance. And there goes the LVC warning. You see it flashing. Oops, got it. <laughs> so this has been a twilight and night flight of the MJX X800 uh, hexacopter. I hope it's informative to help you make a decision if you're looking to buy it. Take care, and I'll see you on the next video.